Okay, in this video, we're gonna go over replacing your sink drain. So here, this side's already been done, and here you see why we're doing this. The drain area is broken from age, and so it doesn't hold water very well anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this. You're gonna to need to get yourself a new uh, sink drain, and you're gonna need a container of plumber's putty. So here's what this is actually called, turn and seal basket sink strainer. We're gonna pull this out and show you what we have. Okay, so on the underside here, you see how there's these notches in this metal ring. I like this style because it's easier to tighten them down um, onto the basket. The other styles have just round flat rings with no notches and there's three screws in them that you would tighten down and that's how you would tighten this ring down around the basket itself. So we're going to go ahead and take this apart. I'm going to show you the order this gets placed in. Okay, so you take off this gold ring on the bottom and there's going to be a plastic washer in there and you see how that goes on there. It's it kind of looks like a little hat shape, like a top hat. That's going to go on just like this here, so that the flat section faces up and the other section faces down, just like this here. Then we would have this metal ring. Then you're going to have a fiber gasket, which is basically a fancy way of saying cardboard. And then we have the rubber gasket. So how this is going to go on here is we're going to place plumber's putty around here and then we're going to place it in there and then all these rings get placed on from underneath. So I'm going to show you underneath right now. So underneath your sink, now this black rubber hose, now this black rubber hose you see here goes to the dishwasher line. This is called a tailpipe. If you need to replace this and you have a dishwasher, you'll get a tailpipe that has that little offshoot there. I don't need to replace this, this is fine. So we're just going to unscrew this plastic nut. There's not a lot of room to work in here with that nipple for the dishwasher being right there, but that's disconnected from the basket then. And go ahead and unscrew this metal ring. And this is where I'm going to use my pliers. So using the pliers, I'll just unscrew this ring. Hopefully the whole thing doesn't turn with it like we have here. And if it does, I'm going to have to get a second pair of pliers to clamp onto this, maybe some vice grips to hold this in place while I unscrew this ring. And this is getting replaced, so it doesn't matter if I mess up these threads or anything. Now part of our issue why this is spinning, and also another reason why we're replacing this, is because the plumber's putty up top has eroded away. Um, this sink is the original basket, I believe, from uh, 30 years ago, which is how old this house is. And I'll show you where that plumber's putty gasket um, is worn away up top once we get this off. So as you see there, the vice grips is enough just to hold that while I unscrew this. And you see all that dry powder falling down? That's what's left of the plumber's putty layer. It looks like somebody might have even glued this or caulked this at one time to try and fix that leak. So once we have this metal ring off, this will pull off from up at top. It'll pop right up through there just like that. So now when we pull this off of here, all this white gunk around here is what should be plumber's putty. This feels like it is a caulk. That is wrong. So I'm going to show you how we properly do this. And that's why this was leaking. So I'm going to clean this all up, get this down to the bare metal. You're not sanding it and doing anything crazy. I'm just going to be scraping this off with a gasket scraper to get down to the clean bare metal. Now I feel some caulk underneath here, which again, there should not be any caulk on this, but if you have a hack job like this, we're gonna clean underneath there too, because I can't have a rough surface to put a, the new rubber gasket on, or we're gonna have a leak. And it probably wouldn't have hurt to do this from the beginning. I'm gonna tuck a paper towel in here so we don't get any debris down in our, in our pipe. We don't wanna 
clog up our trap or anything. Yes. Okay, so once we got that all cleaned up and smooth, we're gonna get this old ring out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this paper towel out of there and make sure you have this nylon gasket. And again, it's kind of like a top hat and the smaller section is gonna go inside that pipe just like this here. So that when we have our new basket in there, it would be like this. So this is gonna get placed right inside there. And now we're gonna to go top side and we're gonna put a bead of plumber's putty right around here. And that's exactly what it's called, plumber's putty. So we're gonna scoop some out. Pretend like you work at the pretzel place at the mall. That's a really huge store that had a bunch of small stores in, inside of it for you kids that are growing up in the day and age of malls not existing anymore. And once we've finished playing with our adult Play-Doh, we're gonna wrap it right around here. I mean, if you have to do it in a couple little pieces, that's fine. And you don't have to be a professional with this stuff. I'm gonna tell you right now, I always put way too much on here and that's fine. You're gonna see here, the excess will goo out and we will trim that off. So if you're not sure, add a little bit more. I can tell you right now, this is way too much in some areas. And again, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do it just like this so you can see what to do when you have excess because most likely you'll have excess too if you've never done this before. Maybe a professional plumber could get the perfect amount on there. Good for them. So once we have our ring of plumbers putty on there, we're gonna take our basket and we have everything off of it. And we're gonna set this right down in there and go ahead and press this down pretty firmly with your hands as much as you can. Just work it around and you'll see some of that excess start to squeeze out. And if you have a spot that you don't have any squeezing out, uh, put a little more on there. You definitely want it squeezed out at least a little bit all the way around. That way you know you got a solid ring. Once we have that pressed in there pretty firmly, we're gonna go down below. Now, I'm not using the metal ring that came with this because I have the nylon one on this tailpipe. Now, this tailpipe can come off by simply unscrewing this here nylon nut. That's what locks this in. So if I unscrew this, this would come out. So then what you want to do is trim this excess off down below here. Just run your finger around here and get all this excess off of here and out of those threads. Just if you have a little bit of a fingernail, run your fingernail right along the top there. And we're not pulling it down out of here. We're just trimming off the excess that's already squeezed out down below. Once we have that excess scraped off, we're going to go ahead and put on our rubber gasket, then the fiber gasket, and then the metal ring. Make sure you have that facing the right direction. And then we're going to screw that metal ring on. It'll be a little bit tricky, so sometimes it helps to go backwards until you feel it catch that first thread. Go backwards lightly, feel it catch that first thread, and then you can screw that right on. And we want to make sure this is relatively centered on this indention in the sink. Now, you can either pull down on this as you tighten it up, or I also like to put a hand up top and press down on the basket as I'm tightening this because we don't want to spin the basket and mess up our our uh, plumber's putty layer. And this, just to make sure that's not spinning on us. So with my hand still up there to feel that, I'm now gonna grab my pliers and tighten this down. Now it doesn't have to be crazy tight. We have a rubber washer and we also have that plumber's putty layer. So we just need it snug down pretty good. Once you have that snug down, go ahead back up top. Here we can see where all the excess plumber's putty bulged out. And now just rolling it forward, we're just gonna trim that right off. Do not pull it like this. We don't wanna risk pulling it out of there. We're just gonna very gently pull it right towards the center and trim it off like that.
and this stuff's not that expensive, throw it away. Don't try putting it back in the bucket to use for later. Now back down below, we're gonna go ahead and tighten our tailpipe back up. And now the plumber's putty is not supposed to dry. It's not like a cement. It's not gonna dry or harden or anything like that. So once you have this all reassembled, you can go ahead and test out your uh, sink to see if you have any leaks. What I like to do first is close the plunger, close the drain, fill the sink completely up, then pull the plug so that we have a rush of water. If it doesn't leak with a rush of water, it's not gonna leak when it's just running plain and simple. I'm gonna go ahead and fill our sink up future video alert. Yeah, leaky faucet. <laughs> Another day, my friends. I don't have that many of you watching my channel. I don't have that much money coming in yet. So while we're on the subject, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Maybe I'll make enough money that I can afford to replace a leaky faucet too. Wouldn't that be something? Support the cause, subscribe. So while that's filling up, let me also mention, it'll be highly beneficial to take a paper towel and just dry anything up, especially if you had water leaking prior. Make sure everything's dry, that way it'll be easy to detect a new leak. We can just run our hands around the pipes and see if there's any moisture on our hands. Okay, that's pretty well a sink full. I think that's enough for our test. So I'm gonna let that run and I'm gonna let my lovely assistant pull the plug while we look for leaks. Run my hand around here, that'll let us know if anything's leaking out of here. And we can also run our hand around here to see if anything's leaking out of this ring. and we're good. When you do this with cold water, the cold sink kind of feels moisture, feels like moisture, but it's not. So that's why I say dry everything so you can definitely see if you have a leak. So if you go by feel, it's a little misleading by feeling the cold pipe. And we're all good. So that's all there is to replacing your sink drain. I really hope this video helped you out. And again, if you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, always doing do-it-yourself stuff. My house is uh, not exactly the newest on the block anymore. So stuff is always breaking and needing replaced. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. So before we wrap this up, let me also mention, if you need that new tailpipe that's down below, you can buy those. That's all they're called is a sink tailpipe. You can get them in different lengths. This one's 12 inches and very old. I doubt they're $4 anymore. Uh, you see the lip up top there where that nylon washer goes and the uh, gasket. And again, if you would need to replace that, you would unscrew this and unscrew this and the tailpipe lifts right up out of this main line. What whole, it just slips into this main line and then this nut tightens down over it and that nylon wa uh, nylon nut or that nylon washer that's inside of here expands when you tighten this down. That's what creates the watertight seal from the tailpipe to the to the main sewer line drain line. So you can get a new tailpipe and then if you need that new nylon nut you can get those and you can also get additional washers like you see here. And again, if you look at the shape of it, you'll see how that presses down into there and expands. So I really hope this video helped you out. If it has at all, or if you just feel sorry for me that I can't afford to fix my leaky sink, please subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.